Hey hi friends, most of my viewers we are Tesla shareholders. By owning a stock, there is always a certain amount of risk associated with it. So in this video, I want to calculate the absolute worst case scenario if we were to invest in Tesla. I spent many hours on this spreadsheet trying to give it as an accurate estimate from past data and massively discounting the numbers to reduce risk for my calculations. So I highly appreciate it if you hit the like button and it helps out a lot in the YouTube algorithm. I want to start off by saying bankruptcy is out of the question. A company doesn't go bankrupt because it's losing money. A shorts have to understand this. A company goes bankrupt because there is no cash. Elon with a snap of, of his finger, he, he can easily raise another $2 billion without effort. So Tesla's debt is only $10 billion, while Ford and GM each having a debt exceeding about $100 billion. So bankruptcy is out of the question and let's move on. Most financial analysts, uh, they are crappy and very few, in fact, less than 5% do better than the index. It's proven, so I always listen to them with a pinch of salt. There is one analyst that stands out and they've been doing pretty well. Well, ARK Invest funds outperform the markets and their founder, Cathie Wood, and the analyst, Tasha Kidney, I hope I pronounced it right, uh, appears often on CNBC and had a podcast with Elon Musk. They calculate the best case and the worst case scenario for Tesla. I'll put the links below to download the calculator that they did and i also explain the numbers that they came up with and thereafter show you the numbers that I worked on. When you click on the link, this is the calculator that you can find uh, done up by ARK Invest. Just click it and download it. Uh, Eventually, this spreadsheet over here will be shown and I'll explain all the numbers that I've uh, that they use and the spreadsheet that I've done to calculate the worst case scenario. So, ARK Invest, uh, they expect about 26 million EVs to be sold in 2023. That is not unreasonable because you see every other automaker, they are moving into making EVs and by 2023, we should at least expect 26 million EVs to be sold. So in 2018, Tesla had 17% or the 17% of the market share, and they actually predicted in a worst case scenario that Tesla's lead would drop to 11%. That means worst case scenario, other auto car makers make better EVs, and their market share drops to 11%. Okay. So even in a worst case scenario, they will still sell <coughs> uh, 1.7 million cars per year in 2023. And uh, in a bull case scenario, because they need to grow, they need to have a sustainable path forward. Uh, their best case scenario is 3 million cars sold in uh, 2023. So ASP means <coughs> average selling price. So the average selling price they estimate to be about $50,000 per car. And this is the revenue is going to be generated just by selling cars. So how do you get the revenue is basically take this times this, you get the revenue. Okay, so revenue for this is 85 billion and the best case scenario is 150 billion. Okay, then moves on to more co complicated stuff like gross margin, gross profit, EBITDA, and it goes on and on. But I do not want to cover all this. All I need you to understand is not all these complicated numbers. It's just you just need to understand the basic numbers for you to actually calculate your own uh, what is your own best case and worst case scenario for Tesla. So moving forward, I'm all this is not really important to estimate because you can usually just take a percentage out of that. Uh, so if you move on to autonomy, so this is where in a 2023 case scenario, they expected the Tesla to have full autonomy, it means the cars can drive around with their own um, self-driving cars, the taxi fleet and that kind of stuff. So this is the best case scenario. And the worst case is in 2023, nothing is done. So zero all the way. So after all the complicated calculations, they came up with an estimate where the market cap of Tesla will be at 124 billion dollars which is roughly double now which is around 600 dollars per share worst case scenario in 2023 
and the best case scenario will be a 1.3 trillion dollar company which is like an Apple company or Microsoft and if you translate that to per share it's roughly about three thousand to four thousand dollars per share okay every number here you look at the right side reason out why they came out with these numbers and you can actually see the calculations done within this spreadsheet so uh, if you want to know more just download the spreadsheet and take a look at the numbers yourself so this is my spreadsheet and this is my worst case scenario i simplified everything over here so it's easy for you to understand and i will explain every single part of it <clears throat> so over here is the amount of cars sold <clears throat> so this is the revenue coming from selling a car this is the revenue from selling their full self driving where a car can take you from point A to point B okay uh, this is the insurance that they have in case you forgot they still have Tesla insurance and the reason why I put 20% funnel over here is because let's say I'm just doing the Pareto principle the 80-20 rule where 20% uh, of your customers will buy in the extra thing it's like um, when you go to McDonald's there is roughly about 30% of people that will buy into a meal so this is a 30% so that is a McDonald's having a 30% funnel we are having a 20% funnel over here so 80-20 rule uh, you know these numbers are very conservative you know it's way more than this alright anyway uh, the next part is the energy business where they sell the where they sell the big batteries like the one in Australia, South Australia, Hornsdale and the uh, solar roof and that kind of stuff. So this is the Tesla's energy revenue. Alright, so moving forward to the first section which I'm covering over here, car sold. Uh, if you look at my worst case scenario, all right, my worst case is worse than, Tes than ARK Invest worst case. See ARK Invest worst case is 1.7 million cars. My worst case is 1.5 million cars by 2023. So the numbers I did over here is already highly discounted because I want to do the absolute worst case what happens to Tesla when they screw up massively. Uh, this is uh, average selling price per unit. So every year, I bring down the cost of a Tesla car. So sometimes people buy a car for 30 over 1000, some people buy for 60,000, some people buy for 70,000. Do know that they also have cars that are worth 100,000. So I'm massively discounting the average selling price per car, okay? And every year moving forward, I keep reducing the average selling price per car by 5000. You know that is a bit stupid, but I'm just going to give the absolute worst case scenario again. So how I derive the revenue is basically uh, ASP times car sold, done. So this is me projecting forward until year 2025. Next thing, and I explained to you earlier why 20% funnel is because of Pareto principle and what happens is that 20% people will buy into your additional services. Okay, so the numbers here, why is this number over here is I take the total car sold, all right? here and I times by 0.2 it comes 20% so this is the amount of people buying into full self-driving and the average selling price of full self-driving here it started in 2018 for about $5,000 2019 he moved it up to about $7,000 and assuming he doesn't move it up by much okay that means he doesn't move the full self-driving price by much and eventually you hit about eight nine thousand for your information, if full self-driving is a reality, the thing is full self-driving may cost more than the car itself because when you have full self-driving and it goes and your car becomes an asset to you, imagine your car generating like 30% a year to 40% a year from your investments. The cost of full self-driving is going to be more than the cost of your car itself so again i'm massively discounting full self-driving and imagine that there is no improvement and full self-driving will never come true okay uh, so these are my numbers and this is the reason for my average selling price for full self-driving again i multiply these two and i get a number over here the insurance funnel i'm just going to put it right across every car one thousand dollars per year I know it's cheap, uh, I don't care, I'm, I, again, I'm massively discounting it and I'm massively discounting the amount of people buying into Tesla insurance.
So this is the revenue they generate. Actually, this is almost redundant, but I just put it there for the sake of putting it. Next, the energy business revenue. Okay, the, the thing is you need to look by this, the number here, 2025, okay. The Elon Musk mentioned that eventually the energy business will be more than the Tesla car's revenue. Okay, because the reason why for energy business be a lot more because you are facing commercial customers like the one that is replacing pika plants all over the world where they install massive batteries. Imagine, imagine building a gas-powered plant, which is a pika plant, compared to putting batteries. Number one, a gas-powered power plant, pika plant, will take about three to four years to build. Okay, a massive battery installation will take less than a year. Boop, it goes there. And no maintenance for the rest of your life as a, as a life for the battery. And on top of that, there is very little operating cost and the bulk of batteries is cheaper than building a gas power plant. I think the cost of building a gas picker plant costs from like 500 billion, no sorry, 500 million to up to 1.5 billion. So it's around that range, right? And imagine you just install like 500 million dollars worth of Tesla mega packs there. Uh, just by doing that alone, it actually saves a lot of people's money and I see massive orders come in from there. So anyway, back to the spreadsheet, I just don't go too much about that. It's a topic by itself. If you look at this, 2025, I'm massively discounting Elon Musk by 50%. So this, these numbers here are a little bit dumb, but uh, I just want to be very safe in my calculations and the worst case scenario for Tesla shares. So again, I add up all the numbers here. I add up every all the revenue. So let's say I'll add up the energy's revenue with insurance revenue, add up with uh, full self driving and the uh, uh, selling uh, revenue for the cars, and I'll come up with a number. So let's say, for example, in 2021, the total revenue will be 43 billion. Okay, in uh, like this year 2019, the total revenue will be 24 billion, which is again massively, massively discounted. I'm pretty sure it will exceed 24 billion. Okay, so you I must understand that my, my numbers here are like 20% to 30% discounted from the worst case scenario, which is the worst worst case now. So anyway, moving forward to 2023, so these are my numbers over here. Why am I applying a price to sales ratio here of 2, 3, 4, 5? I actually did a video on how to evaluate Tesla and uh, I'll put the link uh, up here. But anyway, uh, why I use price to sales ratio is that you see there are many kinds of ways to evaluate companies like you see there is price to book dividend payout ratio you go on and on there is a lot of ways to identify to uh, there's PEG there's price to book then there's price to sales there's so many ways to calculate what is a value of the company the reason why I'm using price to sales ratio this time is because you see, a company like Tesla, they are a company that will not be, they are like Amazon, they, uh, they use a lot of their profits to put into infrastructure to expand. So, like what Warren Buffett said also, one of the ways you can evaluate companies is, like let's say they make a billion dollars a year. So if this company makes one billion dollars in revenue, uh, how much should they be worth? So should they be worth two billion? 3 billion. So that is the, the kind of mindset that goes behind price to sales ratio. So if Tesla makes 20 billion a year, wouldn't it be extremely fair to make it worth for 40 billion dollars? So this is a rough guide. So if you go to Investopedia, all these links that I have over here will be placed in the description below. So all this, if you look at Investopedia, Ratios between one and two is generally considered good. Means what? Means it's cheap. Okay, the company is cheap. If is if the price to sales ratio goes to above like four, five, six, uh, above four is starting to hit the limit. That means it's starting to be fairly valued. And you look at companies like Facebook. The price to sales ratio went up to thirteen before. Currently now around eight. Apple price to sales ratio went up to about six to seven. And now currently, I think it's around 4. So 4 is a very uh, safe price to sales ratio. Okay, But instead of using a safe price to sales ratio, again, I like to massively discount and 
I put a target on a fairly priced Tesla stock uh, at price to sales ratio of 3. So this, how I got this price over here, the stock price over here, is I take the revenue multiply by the price to sales ratio. So for example, this is a 21 billion, okay, let's take a look at 2023. Okay, because I want to compare with ARK Invest. So 2023, I estimate Tesla having a $77 billion revenue. So how I come up with a price to ratio of 3 is I take $77 billion, multiply by 3 because I explain what price ratio is. And after that, I'll divide by the number of outstanding shares. So at that point in time, I estimated that there will be that amount of outstanding shares available and I divide out. Where do you find outstanding shares? I'll put the link in the description below again, but it's over here, over here at, let me see, ah, shares. So you see every year, the amount of outstanding shares available. So as they are increasing, because they are actually issuing shares to acquire people, which is very good. Uh, I don't want to explain too much about that again, but so these are the numbers for outstanding shares. And over here, I, I divided by the estimated about estimated outstanding shares again outstanding shares highly discounted for so in my worst case scenario worst case scenario uh, fairly valued Tesla shares in 2023 will be worth $1,200 and if the company is like massive bear like this year we had a price of about $200 which was about price to ratio of 2 the worst case scenario, everything comes falling down again in 2023, price per share will be $824. Okay, so this is the numbers I came up with. Um, it's really massively discounted for. If you want to be more accurate, I believe that in 2023, the share price should be worth at least about two to three thousand dollars. That is from my average case scenario. And if you are really bullish on Tesla shares, I think the shares will exceed $3,000. I really hope you'll find these calculations useful. I'll put all these links that I have up here in the link in the description below. I hope you like this video. If you learned something, help me smash the like button. It goes a long way in the YouTube algorithm. Again, invest safe.